up. In this segment, we'll talk about upcoming rumor for the Justice League movie. Brainiac. In the Justice League movie, which would probably which will come after Superman versus Batman, there's a rumor that the main villain will be Brainiac. Brilliant. I think if that's true, that's see, this is what I'm talking about, how DC has far better villains. And they should play up to their strength. I think they will try and play up more in the fact that they want to basically be the anti-Marvel, where they want to make it dark, where Marvel's is light and fun. But you really want to get people, real movie people, it's about the villain. Why Batman 2 was so successful? The villain. The villain. Why Superman was kind of mediocre? Villains weren't that great. Even Avengers. The people love Loki. Thanos makes a cameo at the end. I think having a good villain, it's underrated, but it's extremely important. I think Brainiac is that dude. You know, totally intelligent. You know, if you're not familiar with the character, 12th level intellect. I mean, currently on Earth, it was like, I think, level 3. Right, maybe six, I think. So he's like, I think it's level three. So he's like four or five times smarter than anyone. I mean, he basically has stuff that he has technology that could shrink cities. I mean, he could affect space and time. He could take over other people's consciousness. I mean, that's the type of villain that you want. And 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 to me, he's more symbolic of DC's. He he and he's related to you know he's he's kind of from Krypton, so he even shrank a city in Krypton, you know, and it became something where. Canada, like he shrunk it, and it was basically at that stage. So he's from Krypton. He was kind of like the supercomputer for Krypton. So he basically it's a person who can really use technology and his genius in such a level that it. I mean, it's funny because when I look at him, he could be Superman's villain, but then he could have him as the whole villain for the had the whole Justice League has to has to kind of encounter. He's that flexible, and I think. DC strength is their flexibility. So with him being a villain, genius move. Is it going to happen yet? I think it's still a rumor, but that's kind of what I want to see. Um, I know a lot of it will have to do with the success of Batman and Superman. I don't think it's going to be unsuccessful. I think you might get people who, if you're about the numbers movie-wise, it might do well. If you're about critically acclaimed, no. Like DC's method of doing stuff is reacting to Marvel. So whenever you're reacting to people, like if you look at DC, Fox, Sony, even other Hollywood studios now want their shared universes. That's reacting. That's never that's that's never really going to be something that would work, right? If you're talking about from a storyline aspect. But if you look talking about just dollars, I mean, Superman made about seven hundred million around the world. I mean, I think six eighty or seven hundred million. You can't see why Batman vs Superman together doesn't match that or even make more money. So we're gonna have a Justice League movie. I do think though, it might change. Like it, it seems like Superman. They're trying to make Superman like how it was for Iron Man and Tony Stark in the Marvel Universe, where Tony Stark is who you think of when you think Marvel. It's a, it's a singular character. Kind of think Superman is kind of like that too, because Brainiac is a Superman villain. And you introduce him as a as the main villain that the whole Justice League will have to encounter. I'm not gonna lie, that might I mean Brainiac might be so cool in big screen. Definitely miniaturized cities in bottles. Kinda like that. Good job, DC. Let's hope we see more of it. Till next time, peace.